Hi there, Doug Stewin with IT Creations. And for once, we're getting a new system while it's still new. I know, that's weird, right? And it's not just any system. I've done several mainstream workstations from Dell, HP, and Lenovo, always with the inevitable comments saying, wow, it'd be really cool if they made a workstation powered by an AMD processor. Guess what? Here it is, the Lenovo Threadripper P620. Actually, it's called the Lenovo ThinkStation P620 AMD Threadripper Pro workstation. And it has a single AMD Threadripper Pro CPU plus an NVIDIA RTX 6000 GPU. Let's take a look. From the outside appearance, it looks like the rest of the P-Series workstations with a familiar honeycomb pattern on the front. And then there's the two media bays up top with a control panel on the side. I will admit I was looking forward to something that looked slightly different than what was been their staple aesthetic for a few years now. That said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I suppose there's a minor change, but we'll look at that in a minute. The confusing part is when I did search for the P620, I came up with the NVIDIA Quadro P620 graphics card with HP Bracket, also sold by Lenovo. But make no mistake, we're going to be taking a look at the Lenovo ThinkStation P620 AMD Threadripper Pro Workstation. That's a long name. How many characters can we use in the YouTube channel? Taking the newness of this system to a new level, it's not just running those standard Threadripper 3000X series, but a brand new processor, the new Threadripper Pro 3000WX series. The Threadripper Pro 3000WX series supports more memory and PCI lanes than its Threadripper 3000X counterpart. The W is for workstations because this processor is designed for architects, engineers, artists, financial analysts, and game developers. The Threadripper Pro line features 12, 16, 32, and the current core king, the AMD Threadripper Pro 3995WX at 64 cores and a whopping 128 thread count. And I'm not talking linen sheets for your bed. You also get a boost clock surpassing 4 GHz plus 128 PCI lanes, PCI 4.0 lanes to be exact. And as you may or may not know, with each successive iteration of PCIe bandwidth has doubled. Are you interested in one of these Lenovo ThinkStation P620 Threadripper Pro workstations? I know I am, but they won't just give me one either. For a limited time, you can save up to $500 off the purchase price of a system listed on our site at $5,000 or more. That's right, just click that link to see pricing, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. Oh, and don't forget to add a few GPUs, perhaps an NVIDIA RTX 6000, or maybe a PNY 3080 or 3090. Just think, all the popular kids are gonna to wanna to play at your house now. Like I said, it looks like the other P-Series workstations, specifically the P520, but with the addition of this new graphic just under the media base that says AMD Threadripper Pro. This is Lenovo's test platform, so we didn't get that, but it goes right here. You still have the integrated handles, which I have come to love. I mean, at a little over 50 pounds fully loaded, it's a nice feature. To the right of the two media bays is the control panel with power on button on top. There are a few diagnostic LEDs for power and storage. There's even a four character diagnostic screen for displaying error codes. Then there's a headset connection and two USB 3.2 connectors, one for charging and a USB-C port. But this system is a big thing. And not just because previously, Lenovo's highest core count single processor workstation only had 18 cores. Nope, the real news is that Lenovo truly listened to their customer base. I'm telling you, geeks across the world just had their collective minds blown just by the mere existence of this mainstream Lenovo AMD workstation. What's next? A two-processor AMD Threadripper Pro system? Remember when there was that debate about turning the Hadron Collider on and they were afraid it might open a black hole on Earth or something? <sighs> Where was I? I still had a few things about that Ryzen 9 CPU based on Zen 2 architecture, which enables third generation Ryzen processors with a second generation Threadripper CPU and first generation Threadripper Pro. Is it possible we can simplify this? On the back of the system, there's a standard assortment of connections. Microphone line out and line in connection. That's a knockout for a serial connector, but why would you connect old tech? Presumably because you spent the cash on that P620 with the idea of upgrading everything else over time. Below that knockout are two old school PS2 mouse and keyboard connections, and then there are several USB connectors and a 10 gigabit per second RJ45 ethernet connection. Then we have the PCI slots that we will take a look at from inside the case in a moment. There is a removable power supply unit delivering 1000 watts of power and a Kensington lot slot, so you can secure your system to a desk or just wrap that cable around your wrist. The case cover also has an optional integrated lock. Once you remove the cover panel, it's laid out very similar to Lenovo's other P-Series workstations. And look at that massive dual fan heatsink for the CPU. Our system has a single drive cage on the bottom with two 3.5 inch storage bays, which can be doubled up with 2.5 inch storage devices in each carrier. 
A second storage cage can be installed to the right of the first one. There's also the option to convert one of those upfront media bays or flex bays, as Lenovo calls them, to support one storage drive and a slimline optical drive supported by the multi-drive conversion kit. You can install a few other items in there too, like a 15-in-1 card reader or just your basic slimline optical device. The board also has two slots for optional M.2 storage cards with a nice little heatsink. You can also use one of those by 16 PCI 4.0 slots to support an optional M.2 drive adapter with up to four M.2 cards. Lenovo has indicated a storage potential of up to 20 terabytes, but fear not, this drive capacity is described in the manual as less than nominal capacity. The AMD Ryzen Threadripper WX Pro Series processors are designed to compete against the Intel Xeon W CPUs, which are specifically designed for workstations. It's not really a contest. Threadripper Pro offers up to 64 physical cores and 128 threads, plus a clock speed of up to 4 GHz. Our platform features the 3995 WX processor. They also support 8 memory channels for up to 512 GB of memory if all slots are loaded with 64 GB DDR4 ECC memory modules. I will mention that other Lenovo materials have this memory count at 1 TB. Let's go with the 1TB, as the manuals are always the last thing to be updated, it seems. With only one memory module in each memory channel, memory performance is optimized, utilizing the full bandwidth available. One more thing, 3200GHz memory module support, compared with the top speed of 2933GHz currently supported on just about everything else, including those Intel W processors. Even the memory modules on this system have an active fan with a small duct. Operating up to 3200MHz can definitely build up some heat. Once you remove that cover, you can see four memory module slots to either side of the CPU heatsink, which again is a gigantic dual fan monstrosity. With eight channel memory, each module gets maximum throughput to the CPU. In comparison, the 3990X only has four memory channels compared to eight on the 3995WX. By the way, even on the Threadripper 3990X workstation we did a few months ago, several sources indicated that to get the most performance out of that CPU, it needs to be adequately cooled, as heat buildup will impact performance. With an updated ThinkStation Diagnostics 2.0 and AMD Pro Manageability, you have the tools at your disposal for remote diagnostics, repairs, and upgrades. Not to mention the built-in level of security offered by the AMD Secure Processor that will analyze your code before execution, and AMD Memory Guard will protect against a physical assault like if somebody walks off with it. With 6 PCI 4.0 slots and 128 PCI lanes, this CPU has twice as many PCI lanes as the 3990X CPU. Given the number of lanes available, you have a bunch of options for additional hardware and really don't need to make any compromises given the bandwidth on each slot. You will need a card for Wi-Fi, which also supports Bluetooth if you plan on going wireless on some of your external devices. Slots 1, 3, 4, and 5 are by 16 while the other two slots support a by 8 PCI lane. But again, we are talking about PCI 4.0, delivering twice the bandwidth compared to PCI 3.0. The GPUs we're putting in this system are not even PCI 4.0 compatible. There are not many on the market that are. Except perhaps for NVIDIA's latest King of the Hill GPUs, the GeForce RTX 3080 and 3090, respectively. This system will also support Thunderbolt shortly after launch. I'm not sure why Thunderbolt always seems to take a little longer, but as a potential buyer, all I can do is complain. Outfitted with an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 6000 card, this system will support up to four displays. You can actually install two NVIDIA Quadro RTX 8000 cards or four RTX 4000 cards for support of up to 16 displays. This one features NVIDIA's RTX 6000 GPU, and you will only be able to install two of those given it matches the max power consumption of 295 watts, just like the RTX 8000. The RTX 6000 features NVIDIA's Turing architecture with real-time ray tracing and professional graphics. New tensor cores for AI inference combine to deliver photorealistic graphics with global lighting. For rendering film effects, it's up to 30 times faster than CPUs. Connecting two RTX 6000 GPUs using a Quadro RTX NB-Link HB bridge will provide a combined 48 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory and a bandwidth of up to 100 gigabytes per second. Compared to SLI or Scalable Link interface, NB-Link theoretically provides more than 10 times the bandwidth with bi-directional communication. Of course, you can only do that if whatever application you're using will support NB-Link. I will mention that I am a little disappointed AMD didn't create a next generation car to go with this Lenovo ThinkStation P620, AMD Threadripper workstation. I think we'll be seeing some interesting GPUs coming out of AMD in the coming months. But for now, Nvidia is king. It's good to be king. The RTX 6000 also supports a virtual link port for the newest generation of high resolution head mounted VR displays so creators can see what they're working on in real time in 3D. I was really only planning on doing an 8 to 10 minute video, but there was a lot to unload. So we did benchmarks as a separate video, and you can see that here. 
We also got the PNY GeForce RTX 3090 BF GPU that ran on the P620 just for kicks. The last thing I will mention, this P620 Threadripper system is loud, much louder than the P520. Definitely get a water cooling solution if you like a quiet zen type atmosphere as you work or play. When Lenovo had this opportunity for market disruption for the first Threadripper workstation, they grabbed it. Think about it. This single processor Lenovo ThinkStation P620 Threadripper Pro Workstation Workstation Pro delivers more cores, more memory, and more PCI lanes when compared to a dual Intel Xeon 8180 processor workstation like say the ZHG4 or Dell T7920. This system is aimed directly at software developers, finance, oil, and gas, and a host of other applications. They have left out a few pieces of information, so if you do have questions, post them in the comments section below. By the way, IT Creations is a partner with Lenovo, and we can get you one of these or perhaps something else suits your fancy. We've probably got that too, and can custom configure to your specifications and send it out for next day delivery. If you liked our somewhat on the longer side review, like and subscribe. We will be ramping up production now that we're back in the office. Till next time, I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.